Alrighty, hey there guys, how are we all doing? I do want actually I'm gonna jump straight to this. I do want to apologize for the lack of stream on Monday and and uh well back stream on Monday. I had a job interview for a new job which I did get yeah, almost completely. <laughs> yesterday was my first day, so I was planning to actually make up the stream yesterday, but I had to go in yesterday and actually did a shift. This is going to be the only stream for this week because I'm working on Friday. I'm not going to have Fridays working on Fridays. The only reason I'm working on Friday is Sunday. Well, on Sundays, I'm going to be alone. So they want to make sure I have things down by Sunday. So my work schedule says it's going to be Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to jump into my call chat because I forgot to do that. Not sure if D Pad's gonna be jumping in, but if he is, I don't know. Yeah. So we're gonna be starting with the Game Boy Dance version of Rocket Power Beach Band. It's I'm still on this faint view. There we go. The reason why Yeah. The reason why we're going to be actually Actually, let me let me jump back to this. Let me jump back to this so I can the reason why we're going to be doing this is this is the, we're probably not even going to go past Beach Bandits. We're probably not going to do the other Rocket Power game I had planned on the list, Dream Scheme, which is also a Game Boy Advance game. So we're going to start with the Game Boy Advance. I'm going to try to finish it to this today. So Monday and Wednesday will be the console version of Beach Bandits, which I grew up with. Which I did grow up with. So that so that's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah, it's a password game. I'm actually going to uh, turn it down. Because one thing I don't like about RetroArch. Oh, gee, we want to make it as annoying as possible when it comes to the sound mixing. School's out for summer. Squid. That would be me. You're on, Sammy. Pause some skills for the Ocean Source Surf Classic. We goodbye school. Hello school. The story will be a lot better than we do. Man, it's all gone. Totally cut the shit. We will be handling a better story in the conference. So, I care if we do the set looks. There's no way I'm getting that on our right sand. Serious, serious Womp in the side of the my surfing did not surf on this this week. Man, I wanted to tell my fans. This is one of the things is your surfing off the auto. What about the shore shack? You sit down and you search for the picture. Double votes, you literally totally bummed. This is when he was summer to pull a bummer. What's going on over there? Good. My fellow sore citizens. I'm totally not an evil man. Look at my profile picture. I am Gollum Senior, head of Gollum Industries. My team thinks the ocean shores is home. Here's offering my appreciation to make this trans trans transition as easy as possible. But back to business, I have a slight protection on your feet. My senses and current lookings cause your all sand. I'm to see what you to my research technician, uh, working on ocean shores. Golden shoes is one goal, keeping the citizens of the ocean shores happy. <laughs> we'll cover the stuff for Rock and Power after the stuff. Fish out the guy. Yeah. Yeah, dude, she's got a little narrow. Wish there's plenty of bubbles in the boat. It's fake. Those bubbles are so sketchy. What is what is that? It's a robot. I call him the Big Bubbles on it. Team Rocket, I say it's time to do the undercover rest of the game. You said I. Dan, you and I will stay here. Just you two and one auto snaps picks and just go on, go on, go on, go on the phone. Right. And I'll keep track of that evidence from here in my scene. Good thing, Reggie. I can track switch from auto on my map and also source my laptop. 
Very good. The bullies are killed. Find yourself stuck in the first thing. Just like some tech, they don't want to take over. Content. Ready, Team Rocket? Let's go. Alright, so basically one one difference between this and the console version, you only have play only have auto and twister playable. While in the console version, it's all four of the kids. Yeah, basically just press B to do it. You do it. Another thing you also more are more on your on your feet for this. In fact, Twister doesn't even have a yeah, another annoying thing, your attacks are with your arm triggers. You also, can sh you also have access to a gun. Which is also freaking weird. Otto has, has a hockey puck, which if you use with all your shots, he can't attack anymore. So Otto is kinda useless. What do you want? We get about the sand, right? I see you too, Mackenzie. Of course, I'll see you. Five, what do you know about me? I'm five, but I'm not stupid. I was gonna make sand, but no sand. Remember, it's gonna take me to the lake. Good, the bridge is gone. I yeah, have this name data sand with it. No sand, no bridge. Bridge connection. Anything else, Mackenzie? There's no pig, make no beach, and that's boring. I find a prank. Can you just get the lake shoes in? Make a change for that key. Oh, now you're talking. Okay, what's the end of the pier? You find a golden arcade. Oh, it's big, purple, and stuff. Green stuff, dinosaur. Have competing in game. Get it? It's yours. Yeah, basically, a lot of this stuff is a lot done a lot better in the in the console game. I will be straight honest. This is not really that good of a game. Look who we have here. You must be part of the Tourist Rocket Packer. You don't look so tough. Big words are shooby. Who are you anyway? Please excuse me, loser. My name is Eric Gong Jr. Met my father. I believe you'll love me. Prove it's your crushing ocean shore that you made. No time for you now. We're gonna win a for Kenzie. Because you're gonna have to. Looks like we'll have to be time for me. Because nobody wins anything with Gong Jr. without you. Nobody wins because of Yeah, for some reason, they make the golems. Now, I'm gonna be straight honest. The golems are the villains. We've already. I'm joking, but they are villains. They make them way more cartoony in the Game Boy Dance game. Okay. You're on, Lamo. You're going down. Up to the Ar Gollum Arcade. Yeah, for some reason, yeah. This is another weird thing. The games in in the um, in the uh, amusement park are all owned by Gollum. No, they're not. They are part of Ocean Shores. The four stars in Eric Golden Jr. and the score two gun challenge and the hockey putt challenge. We're both prize games. You want to see the form of dinosaur. Good luck. I have to go a little bit fast. Oh right, we can't move when we when we're charging. We can't move when we're charging, right? And also, don't worry. Like I said, the console version is much better. You're already seeing how janky and stuff this one is. This is also why I'm starting with this version. The console version is so much better. Yeah, so basically in order to win, you just have to do basically, basically five out of these. And we barely won. Yeah, we still need, yeah, we need to swap to auto. I like how creepy Otto's walk is. Like, what the hell? Yeah. 
And yes, basically, I'm, yeah. I'm okay. The minigames aren't that bad. You do have have to wait till for some for to get down. Because you have to spread you have to break them using the pucks. You can't use your Yeah, yeah. A lot of these, I will admit, a lot of mini games are really, really dumb. But it's like, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of tank. Ah, stupid balloon. And you could basically jump. Jump shoot, but no. I have beaten both versions of this game. Game, both versions of this game. And like I said, console version is way better. It also does have all the voice acting too. Happy about that. You want to stuff down on his own I'm trying to win that all day. This again, we got more games to shoot for your demolition. I mean, your enjoyment. Yeah, as you can see, there are a lot of mini games. About three at least. It is like, take your shoot prize. I don't want it anyway. Get to the and bridge the lake. Scout the map when you walk, talk to him, press the start. Thanks, Sam. You can check out the map. Yeah, I was, yeah. Yeah, we kind of have to go through a kind of a long way. Unfortunately, we do have our board. I did forget about the characters intro stuff. I guess we could talk about the kids at least. Uh, basically the main, uh, we have Auto Rocket, the main, the uh, leader. They, he's basically a typical surfer dumbass. Um, he does bite off more than he can chew and actually does get shit, shit on like the time he broke his leg. Reggie is his older sister. She basically runs a magazine that she owns. Twister is their is their best friend. Basically, his real name is Maurice, but he doesn't go by that because it's Maurice. Sam, or as they mostly call call him Squid, is the new kid. He act his him moving in actually was the first episode. We never had any um episodes before Sam moved in. Basically, Sam is computer geek. And they don't really mind because they kind of just see they're all cool. Which sucks. Sam is also a nerd. Like I said. I'll, I'll talk about more characters in in the um when we actually get to the console game. Like I said, I kind of want to get this one done. Like, like, yeah, I don't, give, I don't really give a shit about the, um, the console version. I mean, the handheld version. Like, mm. again, it's because I grew up with the console version. Like, it's not 
Take your time, still better than nothing. Sweet, great song. Time to take down the lakes. Later. Yeah, yeah. Let's do the business for you. Yeah, it's like well, the, the the mo the method mode of combat. Don't recommend using twisters. Stop. Anyway, stage one lakes. Basically, it's just the forest. Oddly, there's only two two areas in this game that you actually see in the show. Show just. The kids never really go go hang out in the lakes. The only other go go hang out in the lakes. Like it's who's checkpoints. I don't remember what the point of the rocket I I are. But you do lose that you die. Stuff to recover your health, which is a common thing in both this and the normal. So uh, basically, so basically, it's like. Back to Otto's creepy hunch walk. Yeah, we don't have a double jump, so. that basically the power up items are given to you by stuff you can only break uh, break and some more weapons yeah twist yeah yeah one bonus is twister does jump higher than auto it's really weird because they don't make the kids different in the console version like there's specific things you can do as the, as each one one, but it's like there's not really much of a difference like I said it's like you add the fact that Twister jumps higher than Otto in this game and it's like nothing else like I said there are some differences in in the console ship. again if you want to play a game of this if you want to play this game Play the console version. Auto, stop moving down. Auto, we will. I don't know if I'm going to go straight to a freaking clip or not. It, it's a hit or die.
Thank you. It's like I didn't know I couldn't do anything. Fuck off, game. Also, one thing I do want to kind of mention, Twister goes, Twister's voice actor acts, I believe, in a D-pad where he or he would, I mean, I'm pretty sure he would, uh, he would, uh, he would uh, answer if I was correct or not. I believe, uh, I believe Twister's voice actor actually goes through puberty during the show, because his voice starts off, off a little bit high pitched, but he goes a little bit more. I believe the, the, the PS1 game, which is a very bad 20 hog ripoff, uh, has his original voice, while while the console version of this has his um, has the deeper voice. I know for a fact that it has the deeper voice. I'm just double. I'm just saying. I'm just adding that to the. Fuck off! Oh, okay, that's how I get to get the one up. But now I'm basically back to the to this part. Come on! Fuck you! Fuck off! Oh, why don't I just use use the walking thing? It's slow as hell. It's slow as hell. You base. The game basically kind of makes you be on, be on the rides, and it's like that's really dumb. Thank 
you in for your fucking hunt. that basically you can't really do anything with them. Son of a bitch, I hate that. It's been years since I played this version. when games do this type of thing you're not being creative you're just being dickish if you if you go oh hey oh hey platforming you have to jump to this that
is that you don't really have any get up and go in this game. Sorry, this segment, this segment's hurting your got your eyes, guys. I, yeah, so I did. way to change method to change your shot type. Yeah, as you can see, basically both Dotto and Twister have basically different shots which is the hit twister hits hits those standing up while auto hits those things maybe don't have a hide a fucking ladder behind something like that guys you're an idiot. That, that, that makes me sound mean, but it's like, no, Twist, Twister's, kind, Twister's kind of an idiot. Why he and Otto are basically best buds. Twister and Otto are the idiots. Sam and Reggie are the smartest. Are the smart ones. Yeah. 
For those of you going, God, why are all the all the big team games on GBA so bad? I agree. I agree. A lot of them suck. Honestly, the one I don't find it sucked was um well where Avatar Tar Burning Earth and Danny Phantom. Um Oh, uh Jimmy Neutron and Operation Chat Fusion and Danny Phantom uh the ultimate enemy. Like a walk, do do like autos oh, walk sock, which is what the basically the Freddy Mod Freddy Krueger song, not, not Freddy, the Jason song. And now it's time for the boss fight. Sharp, uh, correct him. Uh, God, and this thing's named. I can't remember what. Um, I can't remember what it's named. Baraboondi bot, Baraboondi bot. Some of that big bear windy fish bot. But he shows up to something fish. Alright, put these picks up in the scene right away. Who's like going to check these crystals from the water? Why? Who knows where to who knows what to where to take those little scene is there too. Come on guys, you keep moving. They don't do I think they do do a woogie 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 thing, which basically they just put their hands here and do this. I think they do that like one before it after every boss fight. about characters when we're doing the console game. I just want to get this one done though. Game. 
good example of this game is the uh, challenge on Mount Uhura. Basically, the, um, from, uh, where you have to do the spin jump from Mario and Luigi. Which I probably should get through this, through that game soon. We also cannot pause here, so. Let's see if we can get, get done with this. Cover scooter. We now have an upgrade. Scooter Twister can now scoot. It replaces his normal scooter. So yeah, we do have upgrades. If the game is too loud, I can turn it down for those of you who want for those for those of you want. Oh wait, no, I, I think I know what we need to do. So I think they also keep this in between the games. We need to talk to the shirt. Yeah, Robot Factory. Yeah, you know, we need to go to the Robot Factory. I'm gonna swap to auto, just so basically we don't have to hear the damn, the damn bomb. Yeah, basically power ups replace every um every bit. Every um everything your main stuff. If you know the game, you probably you probably know what auto's upgrade, uh second uh be right upgrade is. I actually like it because it's actually a really neat idea.
By the way, this isn't the only game which we'll be dealing with a lot of rope. We'll watch some experience on. Just this year. Just this year. Because <laughs> we do have Alpha Martini Bottom, which, yeah, it's a, it's a much better game. Of course, we have to get through Red. Of course, we have to get through Red. The following touch, man. I'll be straight honest, you have to be making some really shitty robots in order to basically get, um, in order, if they can get destroyed by kickflip, by doing a fucking kickflip on them. I'm not gonna say anything about, about Twister's, about Twister's scooter, because that actually would fucking hurt. That actually would fucking hurt. It would hurt a lot more than, than doing kick up on someone. Let's not, let's not, let's not be, be straight honest. Because you're actually basically bashing someone in the head with a piece of metal. Auto's also smaller than everyone. Forgot that. Yeah. I, yeah. Auto's also smaller than everyone. Sure, that counts. That that's fair. That that's fair. I can basically see two my first shot. That one was me dying. That one actually was me dying. And yeah, if we die, all the enemies get respawn. Because that's everyone's favorite thing when it comes to video games. Respawning enemies. Better listen to the person's goddamn fucking scooter. This 
Master, get on to the fucking platform. Well, that, 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 that was fair. That was fair. Real fair. twist over this area. Fuck you. Oh, these letters. Oh, there oh there was oh middle one was a letter. Sure, that was fair. That was really fair. <laughs> Boss fight. Basically, the watch general. He's not that hard. I say that and I die. <laughs> Basically, first thing I'm gonna do. Right, yeah. Okay, that shouldn't count it. The first thing you wanna do is. Why do we have that musical flourish? Why do we have that flourish? Sure, that's fair. I could go. Okay, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh. 
Yeah, for some reason they made the oil an item that you have to pick up a splitter in order to use. It's not an upgrade. I don't understand why that's a thing. It's really weird. Pucks, the um the oil actually freezes it. It's not that good in combat. <laughs> yeah, basically our boss this time is computer system. If your trick is a big threat, then yeah. yeah. Don't worry, we'll get the threat thing when we again console. Basically, just hit the screen. Honestly, considering you have a triple shot for auto. I completely, totally recommend that. You had to do the boss fight over. That's another thing that I did. I forgot to mention. Because that's totally fair. Like, seriously, guys, what the fuck? Who's did it that okay that?
Team Rock Fire. Kiss and blows that Operation Twister. Adam Jackson, who images that drill go stars a robot. Does the robot train facility. Obviously, Shirley has to see this photo. I'd seen it. Gold is nothing else to see in the Silicon League of Gearships. Team Robot Army out of all out of out of all of Ocean Shore's natural resources. So, what do you guys think? Is this better or worse than Eggman? I'm mean, getting out my iron ore from on the mountain. Time to shut down this little operation. Let's go. I believe we do need to go see Shirley. I believe that's still a. I thought we were going to get, a, get an upgrade for auto, but no, we don't. Didn't. Yeah, there's grappling hook. I think it's... I don't think it's that. Yeah. Otto gets a grappling hook. That is tanky as shit to control. have to basically press jump to get to jump to get rid of it but no you have to use you have to just hold up at least okay it's like granted i'm saying that's a really dumb design choice at least it's better than fucking batman forever Better design than Batman Forever. There. There. Now Otto has the grappling hook. So now he has. Now. Unlike Twister, he now has three things to use to swap between. Which kind of sucks because the Griffin hook is second.
Yes, yeah, so now we can use this to go to Mondo Mountain. Yeah, in case you were wondering, oh gee, the box is fucking set. In fact, any extra area you want to get the set. the mountain. Yeah, we are kind of, yeah, this version, this version is really short. So we might actually get Rocco um, on Wednesday. Then. But it also depends on how, um, but it also depends on how, um, how long the console is. Oh, both, both of them, both boys use the, um, use grappling hook. My bad. I thought it was just an auto weapon. Well, I don't know. It's a fucking weapon. Now we have fat gunners. You made that guy a gunner? I did, sir. He's my cousin. Oh, 
Also, this is serious on the mountain. Mondo Mountain show by the way this isn't fucking Mondo Mountain <laughs> That won't shut up either, but it's like at least auto skateboard is a lot better than Twister's fucking fucking cover. God damn it. I said fuck we need fucking. They never take advantage of, of the size difference for all the team, for team the power, by the way. Son of a bitch! So you really couldn't have just freaking put in the damn, the damn checkpoint app before the calling segment, guys? Really? singing turtle power because that's in my head right now. kind of doing something. Alright. Sorry about that. Just changing something over on my channel. On my channel. So mostly it's because I'm being stupid. Alright. I was being stupid. And I'm pretty sure people... 
that are kind of, uh, watching this live are kind of annoyed, but I'm done with it. No, I'm done with it. All right, sorry about that. All right, back to the game we go. Are we going breaking into egg rocket zone? Cause I'll start singing that. Granted, it's more cause to make an egg more than just and it's more the other one. More than an egg rocket, not, not gonna lie, because I like it, because I like it, it's a real game. Granted, it's, it's also a from Sonic game. And no matter how basically bad the Sonic games are, music's always bitch. I mean, hell, it's why Shin Shinoe has um, Panic Puppet act. Grappling hook a lot. We really haven't. Give me a quick minute. You know, I don't know why I say, keep saying give me a quick minute when I'm when I'm using basically um I'm just taking a quick second. I apologize for that. I was sure it was fair. The annoying thing is... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Thought I got rid of that, but I won't. Alright. Alright. Alright, we're back. We're good. We're good. We're gonna stick with Twister just because these jumps can be kind of annoying. Oh, so I'm low on also goody. Boy, that was fair. That show was fair. The mountain doesn't have ice. There is an ice mountain that the kids have gone to. There is no one in the show, but it's like it's not on the map. I don't think they ever named the, uh, the winter park they go to for like two episodes. Boss side. It's a giant ass furnace.
Yeah, yeah. One time. Hold on. Let's get a code. This is why I don't like fucking password games. Okay, that's the game. That's the game then. That's the fucking game because GameFAQs doesn't have any guides for passwords, nor does it have any fucking passwords itself. Except for a secret level. Thanks, GameFAQs. Thanks. Again, this is why I hate the fucking password system. All right, we are going. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, I got a um, kind of annoying, annoying. All right, I'm gonna go on a quick break. On a quick break, and when we come back, we will start the um console version of Beach Bandits. Which will not be basically a complete total washout. We'll be playing the much better game. So I'll be right back. Yeah. Alrighty. We are back with Beach Bandit, which console Beach Bandit, which, like I said, much better game. A much better game. This is the one I grew up with. I'm. <clears throat> This is one of the two games I was actually really excited to actually play because, like I said, this, this, I, like I said, I enjoyed this game. I enjoyed this game. This is game. Like I, if there's one Nicktoons game game that's not SpongeBob you play, it's this. Totally and completely this. We are playing the GameCube version because this is the version I grew It's also the version I grew up with, but it's also on both console and, um, it's also on console and, um, and PS2. Basically, old, um, old stuff, old game, 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 game looks. But it's a, like I said, it's a really damn good game. A really damn good game. Rocket power! Yeah. Alright, so story mode. I don't think we're gonna finish this game in one um, go. So on the next time, on the next stream, we'll talk about what the scene is. Options, basically, you guys all the stuff. Options. We also have sheets. We're not gonna look at it, but yeah. Extras. Basically, we'll look at that stuff later on, too. Game. Oh, actually, hold on. Give me a quick minute. I actually, I actually realized something I should have done earlier. I just wanted to restart the game. I'm an idiot. We need to remember this. I'm stupid. Okay, you use an idiot. Okay, you you use a fucking idiot. We need to remember this sometimes. I was gonna actually show off the tutorial. And so we can see how better the controls are in this version than in the Game Boy Advance version. 
I'm going to be skipping off the uh, that little intro. Of course, we do have to wait wait for this side. But yeah, like I said, you're stupid. Why are you guys watch me? I'm stupid. Okay, go watch someone someone better. <laughs> Power. Also, if you basically just press up back a lot, you actually will, just, will um, jump between the, the four kids doing that. It always starts off with doing that. Anyway, getting around. Yeah, basically, the these little screens are remind me of basically the Aladdin uh, game. Anyway. Hey, bro. Here for a few pointers? Just kick it with me and Twister for a while. We'll show you what's up. I don't remember who the heck this, Check it out. Who the heck the tutorial the voice actor jump. is. It's weird. I also don't understand why the tutorial character is Twister. Dude, does that flashing symbol look like anything to you? Like maybe the Y button? It means there's some special action you need to do. Just hit the Y button and see what happens. So I think we should look at... Sometimes the only way out is up. Keep your eyes open for stuff you can climb. Oh yeah, gold coins. When you see them, grab them. They unlock secret features in the game. Cha-ching! Silver coins are cool too. You can spend them down on the pier. Dude, what's your damage? Here's an important hint. Falling hurts. When your energy gets low, chow down on some Shore Shack snacks to power up again. Okay, bro, the rocket marks a spawn point. Run through it and you'll always restart the level. And we also here. don't have lives. Oh, dude, here's another important hint. If it looks dangerous, it is dangerous. Don't fall in. Yeah, these are basically glorified videos. These are basically glorified videos. You can guys can just walk around. You guys can watch these while I look up this combat. Yeah, there's combat in this game, but it's a lot based and it's a lot better than basically what we have to deal, what we dealt with in the cons in the handheld version. Looks like a dead end, but check this. You can get out your hockey stick and start firing with the B button. Sweet. That would be a robot spot. Very bad news. Here's how to aim. Hit the R button. It'll lock onto the nearest robot. <laughs> okay, that's Mikey Kelly. Awesome. He scored a special Mikey button. Kelly doing the forty factor. Bunch of people <laughs> For the tutorial. Okay. Too close to shoot. Your stick has other uses. Just keep hitting the B button. You'll want to take spawners out whenever you can, or the robots will just keep teleporting in. Get right on top of it and hit the B button. And that's the that's the combat tutorial. We also can shoot our fucking pucks in the air. Wow. Not, well, not fully, because we also do have a slam, but, yeah. We, it's a lot better than basically what we had to deal with when it comes, again. This is a much better game than the Game Boy Advance version. Time to skate. You can swap vehicles anywhere in Ocean Shores. Hit start and then scroll down to change vehicles. It automatically just does that Hold yourself. Hold the B button to pick up speed, then hit the A button to pop an ollie. You can grind railings or the edges of half pipes by hitting the L button. Once you catch some air, you can do stunts by pressing the R button and pushing the control stick in any direction. See that bar at the side of the screen? That's your rocket power bar. When it's full, you get a speed boost, and you can get a lot more air. You fill up the bar, you have to do stunts and grinds. Mode. There will be times when we do have skating competitions. Now it's time for camera. 
Why, do you, why are there two cameras? You'll see what I mean when you said do the last one. Sometimes it's easier to see what's happening if you change your perspective. Tap the Z button to zoom in and out. And you can move the camera around your character with the C stick. You can also tilt the camera up and down with the C stick. If you want to take a closer look at something, press and hold the Z button. Then move your viewpoint around with the control stick. And one more tutorial. Twister cam. And yes, as you tell from the hint segment, yeah, we you actually play out getting the evidence. You actually do there are actually moments. When, when you, you see that icon, it means you're close to evidence that Twister needs to photograph. Tap the Z button really to gauge idea, Twister it. cam. Somewhere in this room, there's a piece of evidence you need to photograph. You can tell you've got the right shot lined up when the red record light appears. Try to find the evidence. You got it! Now that you've framed your shot, press the A button to take the picture. Nice shot, Twist! And that's literally all the tutorials. Yeah, it, like I said, it, I'm repeating myself again. It's a much better game than the game, than the game was. Chat. Cause I have my phone out for uh, that. Anyway, now we can start the start a game. Now we can start a game. The default name is Sam, but we are going to be doing um, good old try and tested. Good old try and tested. Do you? Good old try and tested. A real quick notice I do also do want to point out. I've noticed that I've been naming myself a U U, -U in a lot of games. <laughs> School's out for summer. Let's get down to the shore shack for some outrageous thick shakes and some serious grindage. Oh, I'm so hungry. Then time for the first surf of a long, long summer. Last one to the shore shack's a squid. You're on, Sammy. Oh, no. Guys, look. The sand. It's all gone. My surfing. I can't go out on that. We'd be totally cut to shreds. There's more at stake than just your surfing, Otto. What about the shore shack? If they shut down the beach, all the tourists will disappear. Not to mention the surf contest. Double bogus. The Ocean Shores Classic is only a week away. Raimundo will be majorly bummed. Hey, I think they're going to say something. Ah, good afternoon, We've my barely fellow seen Ocean the Shore this citizens like his only and visitors by the way. to our fair area. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed a slight <laughs> reduction in the quality of our beach overnight. I would just like to assure you that there is no reason to be alarmed. I'm sure this is purely a temporary problem, and rest assured that we are working to fix this issue as soon as we can. On that note, I'd like to welcome Eric Gollum, whose real estate and construction company has recently decided to make Ocean Shores its home. On that note, as a gesture of goodwill, Mr. Gollum has pledged his science division to find the answer to our anomalous sand deficiency. Thank you. Lipsing is really good. Also, look at 
looking at Eric Golem, Golem in. Thank you. Um, and good afternoon, in, everybody. He does when not I look first like a saw giant Ocean evil Shores, character. I said to myself, you would what a not marvelous, basic, friendly community. I mean, you probably could just the kind of place the bad you'd guy, want to take your like, family on vacation. It's easy, or for some it's of you, lucky a little bit harder to give to him that trait in round. the console version That's why than I the Game Boy Advance version. Do my best to help turn Ocean Shores into the best possible place it could be. Now, I know some of you are a little worried about the sand, but rest assured that one of my top hydrodanological titians is looking into the problem. And he's sure that it's just a combination of freak tides and some new underwater currents in the bay. Any kid playing we can fix the problem <laughs> with a new harbor wall, which I will be only too happy to build free of charge. So don't be surprised if you see teams of my technicians over the next few weeks. I'm sure things will be back to normal before the end of summer. Thank you for your patience. I love that rock you There's something fishy about that guy. Definitely. Hydrodynological titian. Yeah, right. We better keep our eyes peeled and go see what Raimundo thinks. We need to try and find out what's going on around here, or there will be no summer for any of us. We hear you, brother. Yeah, basically, this game does have a little bit of an arrow thing when you're in Ocean Shores. The game will almost... Will, I'm actually going to turn down either the volumes. I'm actually going to turn down the sound. There we go. All right. The game will always start you off as Sam. And yeah, that's the difference. You actually can play as Sam and Reggie in this game. There are no differences between any of the kids. There is no gameplay differences, no extra weapons, no, no, no one, no one person has a higher jump. There will be specific times you will play as a, as a specific member of Team Rocket. There will, yeah. We also change the um, vehicle between your skateboard or the blades. We also have a few of these coins that hang around. Basically, we'll need basically it's like yeah. Basically, we just we can actually explore um our ocean shores. We're gonna head over to the um, head over to Mad Town, the skate park. Hold B and B to go instead of pressing Ollie like in a like a Tony Hawk game. Basically, yeah. Basically, the, the, you don't really have to do a lot of a lot of the skating. There will be times when you have to do some some for like challenges, but you don't have to worry about basically balance meter. Meter, you don't have to worry about basically a lot of stuff. And yeah, we don't have health. We don't have health. I mean, we don't have lives. We don't have lives. Yeah, we can actually go explore Mad Town. That thing. That's the thing you can do. You can't get you. Ha yeah, if you want to get out of a half pipe, basically just hold jump. Well, or forward. Either one of those two. Yeah, we don't have a grind meter. Off shape blades. Blades basically work the same. Although honestly, I find blades a little better to control. Cont 
control in this game than in than than skateboard. Oh man, we also go talk to the mayor. I forgot he hangs around here. <laughs> Mr. Gollum has assured me he is doing his utmost. Perfectly logical explanation, I'm sure. You know, like I said, the, the lip syncing in this game is pretty, is really decent for a thing. After every cutscene, you will be forced back on the feet, though, onto your feet, though. What are we doing? We're just exploring. What's this like game? Hey, it's better. Hey, did you can do it, but hey, they do a better job exploring, exploring ocean shores than in things. Hold up. The only thing is you can't change viewpoints so uh, while you're on a vehicle so we have to we'll have to swap to walking right now We have a little thing for tech. Like I said, this game has a few appearances of the little jungle boy. I don't know why this poster blinks. Also, it's a really ugly look for him. Anyway, there's only one thing we could do. We can head over to the shore shack and go talk to Raymundo. In Hawaiian say, no tourists means no paychecks for tourist resort Franco. No rentals either, especially with the beach being off limits. And no ocean shore surf classic unless the sand comes back by next week. The first one I've missed in 20 years. We'll take a look around and see if we can find anything out. Okay, guys, whatever you want. Yeah, I can do a little bit of thing. I think there can randomly come back in the short shack to talk to. I think they have. Things are not looking good, oh, Tito. No. Luckily, you can mash, mash A button to skip through text. Luckily, they do allow that instead of being allowed you to skip the cutscene, which would have been the smarter idea. But honestly, I I would rather mashing A or X or whatever, but whatever confirm button you have, than oh hey we can't skip it. Anyway, character files. Raymundo Rocket is Otto and Reggie's dad. He runs the Shore Shack and is basically and also runs Surf Rentals. He is honestly. He's honestly one of Nickelodeon's better dads. Like, I rank him up with, um, like, I, I honestly rank Ray Raymundo up with Jack. With Jack Ben. Tito. I can't remember his last name, and I don't want to try to pronounce it. Tito is basically, I mean, everyone loves him. He is, oh, yeah. Tito also has really good pros of wisdom. Even if a lot of it is kind of... We also can head into the play into the playground. Yeah, basically as this one hint says, you need some fifteen silver coins to play the shooting gallery. We do whenever we need unlike the um the console game when it, uh, when unlike the handheld game, whenever we need to play a game here, which there are a few, other, which there are a decent amount, there are a decent amount. You need you need to scour ocean shores for coins. You really do need to scour them for coins. 
we're gonna explore it. So we're not really gonna explore here until basically we're doing, it's time to actually go do the hunt, do that mini game. So, the hints do not, the hints are set by area. So basically, you'll be seeing, seeing this one a lot when you're in Ocean Shores. Because you will be coming to this segment at very easy. We also can basically do um, sit out the pucks. And also, you can fucking shoot in the air. There will there are multiple pucks like in the uh, other one. I'll get over those as we get them. And but anyway. We saw a group we saw a group of guys over in over here. You might recognize the hat. Well, actually, no. We'll, I'll do character files at the cutscenes. Maurice is Swisher's real name. Yeah, so basically we have a we basically have a small competition against Lars's buddy Pi. Yeah, basically Lars is Twister's older brother. He they're he's mostly a dick, but there are times when he actually is a decent rig brother. Very rarely. Very rarely. Like one time I can like I can only remember one time and it was time. Yeah. Uh yeah. Basically, run through to uh, half five skateboard challenge. Run through the tutorial with Twister. Learn the skate tricks. You need to be high. You have two minutes to beat high scores. So what's the moves? Moves. High scores 15k. But in order to get a gold coin, I'm trying to remember what those are for because it's been years since I played this. You need 25k. Okay. Let's try a 50 50 grind. Come up the floor and while pressing the grind button. Yeah, the, controls, the skating controls aren't bad. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not as perfect as basically it's not as perfect as Tony Hawk, but it's honestly a really good system. I'll, I'll go back to talking about characters um, after when we actually get started. And yes, just like in Tony Hawk, Failing does net you a that does give you basically lose, cause you to lose things. Yeah, that was the tutorial for it. We we can't skip these. We can we can't skip those. I'm probably gonna do that anyway. Yeah, but like I said, basically Lars is there. There's like one time when Lars is a good big brother. Pi, the one we're dealing with. His name's Pi. The other friend who did not talk. He, I can't remember his name, but he mumbles. 
You think of if you've ever seen them, um, and I'm age and I'm aging myself to be straight honest. If you've ever seen Fat Albert, Mushmouth, that's basically the same thing. Basically, Lars and his buddies are basically kind of a rival hockey team. Because, yes, the Rockets do have their own hockey team. Sam is their goalie. And that's kind of why they basically... Why, why they actually have him. He's a really good goalie. Sam Stonewall Dudler. Yeah, basically just combo up, and you'll do it. And basically, yeah, you don't lose points. It, it's very generous when it comes to basically doing this stuff. Like, see, I got the 15k needed for the for victory. Now we're gonna work on the remaining on the 25k. It, it's basic. It's basic. I I. Yeah, I accept it be, it be like that. Yeah. I don't mind how basic the basic the controls are. Cause it's not archaic, it's not the main gimmick of the game. And also there's a 25k, so let's see how big of a score we can get. Literally destroy him. Also, the music for this, for this is actually pretty damn good. It's not rock, it, it's... Honestly, whenever I hear this, this music, my mind goes straight to Final Fantasy X-2. Which I still need to actually get that game done. Done for a stream series. And that's the, that, and that's game. We got 44k. We utterly destroyed him. You also can continue or retry if you for coins. We might be needing those. We might be needing those. <laughs> kind of barely see Lars and his buddy basically doing this, uh, doing, uh, sports stuff, out. except for hockey. We we found it here this A trash can. Wow, Lars, you guys have got to be... We think it has something to do with the missing sand. There's only one explanation. Space aliens! And it drove right into the sea. He must be connected to all this somehow. Not space aliens. God damn it, Twister. God damn it, Twister. Whenever you complete a challenge, you will be automatically be swapped to the character that you were playing for that challenge. So that's why I'd... The challenge. We also now have basically these guys just going around. You can just shoot puck, pucks at them to destroy them. There's nothing really. These robots don't damage you. These robots will not damage you. So don't worry about that. Shack. 
You will be doing a lot of running around in this game. Uh, game. Ray Mundo, we know what happened to the sand. Robots that get these big metal robots under the Robot blister that wasn't the big. That was a fucking trash can. You guys haven't been playing in the sun without hats again, have you? Seriously, Dad, we wouldn't make something like well, this up. Auto twister, maybe. And it's somehow connected to that Gotham guy. We saw this logo painted on the robot. Let's go bust him down a peg. Hold it, Otto. I suppose the company could be on something. Either way, there's not much we can do about it. If you're sure about this, you guys go see Officer Shirley and tell her what you saw. Yeah! The long arm of the law. Let's see how much you like getting busted. Yeah, we actually have have parrot current parrot basically kind of thinking you think the right. You can come yeah. If both Raymundo and and Tito are behind the counter, there is nothing really to do. But these things now straight gone. So we can now basically just get our butts over to the main portion of Ocean Shores. Actually, no, I won't actually, no. We'll, we'll, head, we'll head back, we'll head back. There is, a, we did see a person I want to talk to. I don't think we can talk to him once we talk to Officer Shelby. I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm not going to be saving a whole lot because it is kind of annoying that basically the, you can save between every area that, yeah, I'm not going to be saving a whole lot. That kid just hits the transmission over. Also, we can jump over the ledge. And yes, there is fall damage. There is fall damage. It's not that bad. It's not that too bad. You actually can do a little bit of backward surfing, depending uh, skating. I think if you want to do it, you would have to do a land of jump backwards. It's kind of annoying to do, but it's kind of, it's kind of cool to be moving. Anyway, right over here. There we go. Oh, he's still here. Good day, citizen. I imagine you're surprised by our missing sand, hmm? Well, duh, Oliver. What else has happened that will totally ruin everyone's holidays? Yes, well, I have my own little hypothesis to add. I heard heavy machinery sounds and loud sucking noises coming from the beach last night. I suspect our sand has been deliberately stolen. But the main mystery I could not figure out was why, Oliver, why? What possible use could anyone have for all this sand? Finally, I worked it all out. A work of genius, if I do say so myself. Don't tell us! Yes, well, I suppose I must. The ocean shows sand is very pure and conductive to electricity. This will make it the perfect raw material for silicon computer chips. Someone has taken our sand to produce electronic equipment of some kind. Okay, Oliver, we'll keep an eye out for giant posters or something. Let's go, gang. Oliver is a buddy of Sam's. He... He's basically a nerd. He's basically a nerd, but he is a buddy of Sam's, and honestly, the other Rockets don't really seem to basically, it's like, don't really care. They're, they treat him like a friend, too. They're... It's honestly a really neat thing to not see a nerd basically be treated as a loser. It's, on, it's like... It's why I kind of do like this sh like Rocket Power. Like, I'll... They don't fall into tropes that aren't related to basically, basically surfing, skating, that stuff. Every character is a character. Oh, the name was that. Yeah, there are lots of of coins to get around here. This is actually a very big area. Oh, 
Also, also, I'm gonna. There we are. Yeah. No. The only thing is, basically, sound effects are kept to. Are kept to. Um. Didn't mean thing. for right now we're not gonna bother about coins until it's hey you need to keep coins for the minigame cool. but we will collect any coins we see so yes there will be lots of going around looking for coins luckily I believe a every coin is in um, the same area cool only need the 15 and it's every time we're in those short. Officer Shirley! Officer Shirley! Something I can do for you children? Normally I'm the one that comes looking for you. We know what's happening to the sand. Golem Industries is using robots to steal it. We saw one under the pier. Now kids, I'm not saying I don't believe you, but why would he do that? Mr. Gollum seems to be trying to help. <laughs> now, if you kids are sure of this, you need to bring me some evidence, and I promise I'll look into it. No problem, officer. I just have to point and shoot, and we'll have him totally sprung. Jesus Christ, Twister! Make sure you get ready Jesus to fucking first. Christ, Twister! What the hell? By any false alarms about missing kids. Understand? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I forgot about the fact that Twister does, doesn't say anything about his camera. It's time for another mini game. Game, yeah. I'll I'll talk about uh, Officer Shirley and Eddie in when we're done with this mini game. I will be saving before every mini game. I know there's a um, I know there's a retry feature, but yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. Basically, just there's a path that we need to follow. I believe the only, I believe in every single um in every single um visit to Ocean Shores there is a challenge for Eddie to do for stuff. And also if you think oh gee I'm screwing up the time time. Uh I believe they are very generous and I also believe they are very generous for uh for um Yeah, unfortunately you only have to keep you can only uh, re redo stuff if you basically fail. There we go. Damn it. Grass does ba grass and stuff does slow you down. Grass and stuff do will slow you down. So basically. Keep an eye out. Also, you also basically pedestrians will get in your fucking goddamn pedestrians. God damn it.
Of course, I basically soar off on another spot. I press jump. I press jump. I, I press jump and grind. I press jump and grind, game. There we go. I made it. Hey, I grabbed the mask. I grabbed the fucking mask. Straight ahead. You can press A in order to like swap your spin around. I think we need to redo this. Oh. Also, some challenges will not have um, coins. Some challenges will not have coins. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> oh. Alright, so, time to talk about characters. Officer Shirley, who's now gone. Officer Shirley's honestly one of the better cops you will see on television. That's not basically a basically cop show. She, she upholds the law. She basically is a decent person. For some reason, I'm not saying I don't like this. I actually do kind of like it. Whenever she and Raimundo are together, they actually do flirt a little bit. I don't think, and if I had D-pad with me here, I would, I, he honestly would, um, help me with this. I don't think that they end up getting married, though. Because Raimundo is a widower. Or, or a single parent. I don't, I don't think they ever explain what happened to, to Otto and Reggie's mom. She could be dead, or they just cho chose not to basically talk about it. We don't really know. You know, it's like it's, it's kind of weird. Anyway, get over to, let's head over to, oh. Also, Eddie, Prince of Netherworld. Eddie's a little door kid that likes to pretend he's an Edgelord. I, I'm, I'm dead serious. He is. He is a little edge boy. He's, he's a little, he's a 12 year old kid that likes to pretend he's an edge lord. It's kind of funny when they do that, to be straight on. It's kind of funny. Also, those, no, no uh, skateboarding signs are a, a reference to an episode. I, I'll talk more about that in the in the next game because we because we're not seeing the character that's related to those signs in the game. It's really weird because we do have a lot of the other characters. In fact, in fact, there is only like one more character we have to meet that will still be a recurring character around here. And I'm not talking with Kenzie. Anyway, getting on over to the park. Let me guess. It's about the sink, right? How did you know? 
Connection. I'll bet Gollum Industries has something to do with this. Let's try trading something for those bus passes of Mackenzie. Maybe we can trade you something for those passes. It's like you're reading my mind. Okay, shooting down. Big purple and green stuff. Yeah, so now it's actually time to go go and search for coins. Now we have our arcade game. Oh no, there's two characters I've got. Anyway, Mackenzie, she's basically just a little kid character. A little bit of a brat. There's nothing bad about her. She's just, eh. She's one of the few characters who are just, eh. You know? Not, nothing interesting about them. Nothing really that much. It's like pie. And we have seven more coins. I want to head back to the um, city segment because I want to see because I think we might have at least maybe three more coins to get. I don't remember. Because yes, we do need the seven. We do need the. Uh, we do need the uh, coin. We do need. We do we do need all fifteen coins, like I said. Yeah, you would think that they would have a um You would think that they would have a coin up on up on the fountain just like one of those just like one of the masks. No, they don't. Only six more coins and we can go play that video game. Uh that that arcade game. I, I have no idea why I failed. I have no idea why I bailed. Yeah, basically... Traffic in right here. There, up oh, there, there. That's the cool thing about going, being able to swap on the fly. Also, tried to show that next uh, next coin I get, I'll show that off this off too. There's one more thing. I I do want to try off. Probably my nose is stale in the right beef.
And yes, doing that does, is, does count as tricks. So honestly, a good way to get to build up speed is find the grind rail, basically just mash the A button. Alright, I think we're good. I think, I think we can, I think there's just a few more things we can grab with it. When I'm doing this, I'll just be doing, just be sticking on foot, because like I said, there's a thing. Um, I think by now... Yeah. Yeah, by, yeah. Now, Raimundo is down at the rental shop. You can still go talk to him. Hey, kids. Anything happening? Totally dead down here. Raymundo, we spoke to Officer Shirley, and she said if we can get some evidence of what's going on, then she'll look into it. So, we'd like to go on a mission to find out what those robots are up to. And I'll get photos of the evidence with my trusty digital camera. I don't know, guys. You have a tendency to cause more trouble than you fix usually. But there's nothing to do around here, and I don't want you hanging around driving Tito and I nuts. You promise you'll be careful? I love that. I love that. Honor. I, I totally love that. I completely love this. Like, well, it's, you guys are probably going to be in danger, but we don't want you driving me and Tito crazy. Hey, there's Conroy. He looks upset yeah, about is. something. Let's go see what's up. Hey, what's up, my friends? Looking pretty down. No sand, Conroy, my man. It's totally wiping out this summer. At least you're still open. The way things are going, Madtown will be the only decent hangout left. Ah, well, don't get too attached, man. I may not be here much longer either. What do you mean you might not be here much longer? What about the skate tournament coming up? It's this Gollum Industries business, Twister. One of them was down here the other day trying to buy Madtown. I told him no. And he gave me this funny look and told me I'd change my mind eventually. Everyone does. Oh well. Nothing lasts forever. Never fear, Conroy. The Rocket Power team is on the case. We're gonna fix everything. You watch. This Gollum guy is really starting to get on my nerves. No Madtown? No Conroy? I can't handle this. Yeah, anyway, there's the last character. There's one of the last characters. Conroy is basically the owner of Madtown. And yes, that band, he is where he lives. He's basically... All the adults in the show are chill. There's not really one bad adult in the show. To be straight honest. There's not... Well, there, well, there is one, but he's an adult still because he's... All right, so we do have two more coins that we can find here in Midway, which we did see one a little bit ago. Let's just be one right ahead. Fourteen, and over here is fifteen. Follow the arrow to go talk to that guy. I don't think the guy will be there if um, you don't have the 15 coins. Anyway, now now it's time for our first um, mini game. Basically, we need 500 points to win the stuffed dinosaur toy for Mackenzie in two minutes, but we also need the score of 70, 750 for, for that, for the coin. 
basically just keep an eye on, on the stuff. Can't, there are okay, you can hit the scrolling one multiple times. Yeah, use the R, use the Z button for for the zoom in. Use it to hit the further ones. Prioritize the higher the higher scoring ones, especially the 50s. There's the 500, but we also do have. Forty. We probably might have to redo this one. Yeah, we're redoing this one. If I had gotten those, I probably... Oh, wait, no, I wouldn't have. Yeah, that's the stuffed dinosaur. But we didn't get the coin, so we're going to be redoing the game. And yes, I will be going for all gold coins. Luckily, we don't need... Luckily, since we beat... Since we got the high score, we don't need to get 500. If we score less than 500 in this, we don't, we're not, yeah. We can, we can just go ahead and leave. We, we can just go ahead and leave. There is no hold down button, so. Honestly, I would prioritize the 50s a lot the most. And yes, those ropes do can block your shots. Mostly be most likely be getting the getting the coins in about two runs. Yeah, that is the coin. Hi, now we can exit out and go back to McKenzie.
the robot, the, the robots that basically you encounter around here, and no, we don't, no, there aren't, okay. Anyway, the robots you encounter around, uh, around, yeah, the robots you encounter around ocean shores give you nothing. And yeah, basically, there you go, yeah, this game has mouth to link when you're playing around. Like I said, the, this game is really well animated. I honestly, I think it's, I think it's one of the better animated, um, it's, I think it's one of the better animated game, uh, Nickelodeon game. Now let's head back down to Kimsey. Took you long enough. I also do like the fact that they I think I don't remember if it's just Reggie that holds it. Considering considering auto turns for Miss I do like the fact that they they do that. And she just gets the fucking doll. She literally walked away without the doll. Anyway, with the ticket, we can now actually go on to our first zone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All of that for, for basically getting ready to go to our first zone. It's just repeating the cutscene. All right. I think this also this also gets you in. Yeah, that's the one thing. This is another thing that makes you not wish that there was a cutscene skip. Basically, when you have a cutscene following a cutscene. <laughs> It's kind of really annoying. Not gonna lie. Good luck, Tita. No, we can't. Alright. You also can make people flinch if you basically end up hitting them with the thing or nearly hit them. Pass on over to the city segment. And we have just head straight to the to this particular bus stop. Which ba yeah. Basically and yeah, no, we'll talk about that later. Zombie bus driver. I think that's supposed to be tack, by the way. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, never mind. No, no, it's not. I always thought that was tack. I, I always thought that thought it was tack, but no, it's not. I know who that is, and we'll, we will be meeting them later. And welcome to the lakes. Our first zone. Like 
Look, it's closed. I guess you better head back. Good being such a squid, squid. If I can't go through, I'll just have to go. Uh, yeah. You also notice that basically not only is character swapped out, but so is vehicle. When we are in in specific air, when we are in the in the level areas, we cannot ride skateboard or a um our skateboard or our rollerblades. There will be specific times when we when we will be riding them. Also, almost all enemies will wear will drop um items such as health pickups and some other stuff and also each segment does have coin as you tell by the two up there and yeah, this also is a case of basically you cannot swap a character character sometimes yeah yeah you literally cannot you not it that does not mean that each character has their own specific abilities anyway fuck tight these one, uh, oh, two times. We have basically electrical shock, which deals double damage. For me? Anyway, head over here for the first coin, and we just need to get onto the onto the grind rail for the second coin. You cannot jump and and blitz to get it early. <laughs> I think that if you run out of a type of, um, out of a type of thing. Oh, okay, cool. Basically, those ones are bouncy. Basically, they just bounce around. And you, yeah, you don't have a shoot. You cannot shoot when you're in first person view, so you don't have a, a sniper skill. Climb up here. And we get a, a little bit. Yeah. In the levels, there will be specific moments when basically you will be, be forced into basically doing a specific thing. You can either, you cannot do either one. You have to, you are stuck doing, doing one particular one of these. No one saw that. And if you do beef, you, you will, um... You know, I, I also get a little bit of Spyro vibes from... Back to the thing. And get over here for the coin and basically clean thing. And boom. Head over to the action command to let your to let the others in. Still can't swap between characters. You're still stuck as auto. There are times when you will collect other power-ups. Anything plus number will add that particular number. So since we got a plus five, we gained five um gained five more shots. Of the bouncy shot. Uh, yeah, we'll save. And well, that's very sad. Alexa played the spot, yo. Despacito. Mackenzie was right. The lakes have been drained. Phew. It stinks. That looks like the kind of place you could get tetanus. This is a disaster, guys. Birds and fish depend on that lake. We've got to find out where the water has gone. Yeah, 
This one, you kind of can basically realize that whoever does this, you're kind of a messed up person. Also, if you are close to or close to an enemy, you will swing the stick like a weapon. It's kind of a cool thing. Anyway, we also did see, yeah, there are also these flying guys. And we got back the fuck we used. The game does have auto lock on. The game does have auto lock on, which I think is really good. Granted, you do have to be facing the um, the robot in order for the lock on to hit. Oh, keep pot, keep pot. Basically, just just a rapid fire shot. See this little thing in the back. Said, did, did say, the, the hints did say, keep an eye out for for um, cigarettes. Yeah, but unfortunately, there's not a cigarette here. You will know it, yeah. You will only know if an area has has gold coins is if they're up on the right corner, like what they were in the last screen. Anyway, let's go talk to this guy. I'd love to rent your bike, kid, but there's not enough water in the lake to ride it. Yeah. We need to find a way to refill the lake. Lake for this guy, then. Like, holy shit. This is just... What the fuck? You, whoever did this. Anyway, since we can't go that... Can't... Since we're having a dead end right there. You now go to that path you saw, basically, over here. That butterfly was clipping through the ground. <laughs> Sometimes there will be basically special pox there. The only thing is you don't get the number of things you would do. Once you pick up a new type, you will be given you will be given the default number for that. I think that if you pick up another one, you get more. You get like double the thing. Oh, plus 10. Yeah, look how look how easier this is this is compared. Oh, easier and better looking than it is compared to the GBA version. Anyway, head out over to this spot. <sighs> now we'll, we'll we'll get to the next safe spot, and we'll probably call it a stream. Dropping in the water will not harm you. You're per you're perfectly fine. If you want to know if you can basically fall off a cliff, yes, you can. Still and basically press jump, you'll fall. There's no jumping climbing here. And 
here for this little area. I don't think this is a drained area because it's like there's, it just, know, but we did see the bouncer puck. Like, I know, I know there's this there, walking water to slow you down. I know there's this there, but it's like, I don't feel this is a watery area because it's like, the land makes it feel like basically, oh yeah, no, there's not really supposed to be water here. It's kind of a, it's not really, yeah. And the path leads to this. This could come in handy. And the path thing leads, and the path thing, and the path thing in the first area leads to here. Here. Like, so it's like, what's the point of basically having a river right there? So it's like, no. Here for another. This could come in handy. I kind of wanted a health. the shot over there was for. But if you go up here, we'll find we'll find the gold coin for the zone. I don't remember what getting all the gold coins for. No, I don't remember. That. We'll finish off. We'll finish this area off. Boy, this looks intimidating. That's gotta be the place, guys. It must be taking the water somewhere. Let's get in and find out where. And there's the coin. And we also had to have a nuke. And yes, yeah, when you complete a, you get through all of the, um, all of the, uh, things, you will swap to your next one. Which makes it helpful considering the new coins only have when you. Here for the coin. I don't think you can leave here up this way. I think the game will auto. You know what? Do it. Let's 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 go. Let's see this. Does the does the game allow you to leave before you do this? Huh? It does. Okay. Okay. We're going to go back because we're not going to do that. Yeah. We'll hear more of the music. The only real annoying thing about recycling through areas is basically all the enemies will return, but enemies aren't that bad to deal with, like one or two pucks, depending on what you have, what you deal with. And there, doubled. Over there, we'll go around the back. Now we actually have range enemies. You guys just shoot a slime bubble at you. And now we also have the. Gonna head over to the front. Multi shot! Or, if you wanna get technical, 
the shotgun shot. Yeah, it's a shotgun shot if you really pay attention. It is a literal shotgun. I honestly think this or I honestly think this is my favorite shot. Cause I like when games have like a shotgun spread. Okay, and hard to see ladder, but once you see it, you honestly won't remember where they, they are. Hit this, you open up the door. This way, we have some fries. Mm, tasty. The foods do work around Kirby logic. Basically, specific specific meals will get you um will get you a thing. We are going to be going ahead and stopping here for today. So. Like, like, okay. So. There will not be a, be a Yin Yang podcast this week because D-Pad is still out of town. There also. I will also not be streaming tomorrow as a result. Also. Because I would stream if, if we did, did. But I'm working on Friday. Now, like I said in the, um, uh, I hope we said before. Now, like I said in, um, okay, like I said, um, at the beginning of the stream, I'm working on Friday. I'm not usually working on Fridays. The only reason why I'm working on working this Friday is because I'm going to be alone on Sundays. There are only four of us, so come on. So they want to make sure I have everything thing down for Sunday, which that's fine. This does not mean that that now I'll be streaming on Fridays. I'm still. The only way I would stream three days is if me and D-Pad are not going to um, do a podcast. Or if I feel like streaming on Friday. If I feel like it. So, one day... So, uh, so honestly, we might just be ending with, um, with Beach Bandits. I don't know. Cause I, cause honestly, I think this, might, I think basically we might be wrapping it up on on um Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday, if we don't, okay, it will depend on how long we take. If if we don't, um, yeah. If I have D pad with me and we wrap up um Beach Bandits by when on Wednesday, and there's still some time, like I want to go three hours. Then we might play. Then basically we might um, do some multiverses or something else. I don't know. If I finish it on Tuesday on Monday, which honestly I don't. Uh, we're not going to finish this on Monday. Monday, okay? We honest. We might though. Well, yeah, I don't see us finishing this game in three hours on Monday. I I think we I think we might finish up the second zone on Monday, leaving us uh two more segments of the game, about well, three depending on where we are. But yeah, so Monday we're gonna do Beach Bandits. Wednesday we're gonna, we're probably we're gonna wrap it up. I don't th I think we might, or I might go to Dream Scheme, the last Rock Power game. I don't know. But Wednesday will be the next Wednesday will be the last stream of Nicktoon Summer Fun. I'm going to talk more about that when we're when when we're done. So but yeah, so let's go see who's live and who can raid. All right. And we'll 
we'll go Raid Lail. She's playing DVD. I'll come. I'll be spending these ten seconds with a think of a raid hashtag. Uh, I won't. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, we're still live. And we haven't gone to her, so we're going to do Rocket versus Golem. I will see you guys on Monday for more Beast Bandits. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Take care.